Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video by Scalar and in this particular session we're going to look into binary subtraction. Before we move on, please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss our upcoming videos and also leave a like if you enjoy our content. And if you have any queries regarding this video or any other video in the previous sessions, please leave a comment down in the comment section and we would be addressing all of your queries. So now let's understand what will be covered in this session. So we'll be looking into binary subtraction obviously. So binary subtraction where we'll be understanding what is ones and twos complements. And once that is done, once we understand what is binary uh, subtraction in theory, then we'll be looking into the implementation of it using code. So this is exactly what the summary of this particular session. We'll be understanding binary subtraction theoretically, and then we'll be giving an example, and then we'll move on to the implementation of it, right? We'll be understanding how exactly we can do that using code. So now without any delays, let's begin with the session. So guys, let's start with the video. So first of all, let's understand binary subtraction, what exactly it is. So binary subtraction of numbers can be done by adding to two's complement plus one. So basically it means of the second number to the first number. So binary subtraction is just the binary addition of a negative number. So basically you add two binary numbers, but you are basically doing a binary addition of a negative number, right? So that's basically is binary subtraction. Okay, so now let's look into more of this. So basically there are two things which you'll have to know before looking into it. That is one's complement and two's complement. So basically that's what binary subtraction is. It's done by adding the two's complement plus one. So that's basically binary subtraction. Now let's understand what is one's and two's complement. So first let's look into one's complement. So one's complement is a system where negative numbers are represented with the inverse of their binary representation of the corresponding positive numbers. It enables negative numbers to be denoted in binary form. What we are doing here is flipping the roles of zeros and ones. Hence, instead of starting with 0, 0, 0, 0, we start with 1, 1, 1, 1. It's pretty simple. I hope you understood this particular part. We are basically flipping the positive numbers into negative numbers. So to do to make sure you are representing negative numbers, instead of counting from 0, 0, 0, 0, you count from 1, 1, 1, 1 and in reverse. Okay. So therefore, negative numbers can be represented as this. So 1, 1, 1, 1 would be minus 1, which is base 10, which is decimal. Minus 1, the number of uh, the binary value for minus 1 would be 4 ones. The uh, binary value for minus 2 would be 1, 1, 1, 0. The binary value for minus 3 would be 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So the counting should be done in reverse. So and so on all the way to 1, 0, 0, 0, so which represents minus 8. Okay, so this is how basically you'll have to calculate it. So now once complement is taken by inverting all the binary digits in the number, that is replacing zeros with ones and ones with zeros. For example, if the ones complement of 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, so for example, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, the ones complement is just shift the ones into zeros and the zeros into ones. So 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. That's it. So this is all you'll have to do for one's complement. So I hope one's complement is clear. Moving on to two's complement. Two's complement on the other hand enables us to denote with positive numbers and negative numbers in the binary system. So in this case, you'll have to flip it. In this case, you don't have to do that because there is something called the most significant bit. So in this case, the most significant bit in the two's complement representation of a binary number denotes its sign. That is whether it is positive or negative. Okay, so the most significant bit in the two's complement representation of a binary number. So according to the most significant bit, it is decided whether the number is positive or negative. So two's complement of a number can be found by adding a one to the one's complement of a number. So for example, the one's complement of one zero zero one zero one is basically zero one one zero one zero. So now adding one to that particular one's complement would make it a Two's complement. So now a point to note is that ones and twos complement are represent to are to represent signed numbers, signed in the sense with minus or plus, like that. Hence this means that the most significant bit of the ones complement or twos complement of a number represents the sign of the number. So basically, if it's one or one, that basically means it's plus or on, zero basically means it's off. So let's just look into that. So yeah, so MSB denotes that the less second leftmost bit of a number denoted in the binary form after the sign bit. Okay, so most significant bit denotes that the second leftmost bit over here, right? Second leftmost bit of a number denoted in binary form after the sign bit. 
okay and m must be of 0 denotes a positive number and the m must be of 1 represents a negative number so in this case this is how you represent minus 6 and this is how you represent plus 6 so minus 6 uh, representation in uh, five bit register so this is all required to denote 6 right so 1 0 1 0 is basically 6 but whether it's negative or positive number so if it's a 1 here it's a negative number if it's a 0 here it's a positive number I hope that's clear, right? It's pretty simple. It would be, for example, here you can see 11010. One, one, zero, one, zero. This is 0, 0, 110. One, one, so plus 6 representation, this is minus 6 representation. Pretty simple. An MSP of 0 denotes a positive number, an MSP of 1 denotes a negative number. And also, the second leftmost bit of a number denoted in binary form after the sign bit. So in this case, if for negative numbers, this would be the most significant bit. For this MSP for a positive number, MSP would itself be the most significant bit. So this is basically two's complement and one's complement. Now let's understand binary subtraction. We understood one's and two's complement. Now looking into binary subtraction, the subtraction of numbers is done using the addition of one number with the two's complement of the other. Okay. For example, it's x minus y. Okay. So this is what we want to do. We want to subtract y from x. So you will just have to do x plus 2's complement of y okay so there are two numbers there is x there is y and you want to subtract y from x right so now you have to take the 2's complement of y and then just add it to x and that would be the same value as subtracting it so this is basically binary subtraction so now uh, one important thing to note is that both the binary numbers must have the same number of bits okay it should not be 5 and 4 bits or or four and six bits something like that it should be the same number of bits if they do not add you just have to add zeros to its left so the both numbers are equal so if the x is five bits y is four bits you just have to add a zero in front of it so both are five bits because if they are not the same number of bits then you can't do binary subtraction so in the example we've taken in the beginning so we've took an example here right this one Okay, so in that example, the binary representation of 53 is 110101, which has 6 bits. And the binary representation of 12 is 1101, which has 4 bits. So now hence, just add two more zeros, which would make it 001101. That simple it is, okay? So you just add two more numbers. So now this is how you represent a number. So if you want to subtract 53 from 12 in binary, in that case, 12 has only 4 bits. 53 has 6 bits, so you just have to add 2 more zeros. Furthermore, an additional 2 zeros were added to both the numbers to make the number of bits in the numbers divisible by 8. So furthermore, 2 more zeros were added later, extra zeros, so that they both are in 8 bits. So 8 bits is much easier to calculate, right, because 8 bit is usually used, okay? Okay, so now the addition of binary bits is as follows. So x, y x plus y x minus y okay so if you're adding uh, if x is 0 and y is 0 x plus y would be 0 x minus y would be 0 if x is 0 and y is uh, 1 x plus y would be the value of y which is 1 if it's x minus y then it will be a 1 but the 1 is carried over okay and then if it's 1 0 it's 1 1 and it's 1 1 it would be 0 x plus y because uh, y's would be 2's complement of y and then x minus y would be 0 because 1 minus 1 would be 0. Okay, so this is basically the addition of binary bits directly. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is the direct addition of binary bits. Now you, you can just use the same method to add all of the numbers, right? You have two equal number of bits. You just have to add them together in order to get a final value. An interesting point to note from the table above is that binary addition and subtraction is the same as XOR operation. If you can look into the XOR table, it's the same. The computer uses this property to add and subtract binary numbers. So two's complement changes the sign of the number. For example, the two's complement of 12 is taken as below. So this is 12, 1100. So 0, 0 is added to make it 6 bits. So now to invert, if you invert them, it would be 110011. And if you add 1 to it, it would be 110100. Okay. So if you add 1 over here, so 0, 1, 1 will be carried over to this. And 0, 1 again, 1 will be carried over to this. So then it would be, yes, yeah, so then it would be 1, 0. So then that's why 1, 0 would be 1. So 1 would be added. So then 0, 1, 1. So this is the number. You are adding 1 over here. 
and that's how it works okay it's pretty simple so one one zero zero then again one is carried over one one it's zero zero then zero plus one is one one is added so so nothing is carried over then it will be zero again then one one so that's how you get this particular value okay so it's pretty simple uh, two's complement changes the sign of the number so this is how the sign of the number changes I hope that's clear. So now looking at the example, so let's try to subtract 5 from 7. Okay, so we are subtracting 5 from 7. That would basically make it 7 minus 5. So this is what we want to do, but we want to do the binary subtraction of this. So the binary representation of 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. The binary representation of 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so now first what we have to do, we have to basically get the 2's complement of 5. So to get the 2's complement of 5, first we'll have to figure out the 1's complement. So to get the 1's complement, so 0, 1, 0, 1, you just have to flip, right? To get the 1's complement, you just have to flip the numbers. So it would become 1, 0, 1, 0. So that's what we've done here, 1, 0, 1, 0. So now we have to get the 2's complement of 5. So to get the 2's complement of 5, we just have to add 1 to the 1's complement of 5. So 1, 0, 1, 0 plus 1. So now you just have to use this particular tabular format in order to calculate this, which would be 1 plus 0, 0 plus 1. So that makes 1, 1 would be carried over and then again 1 plus 1. So that's why 1 is over here, but then nothing will be carried over here and then it will be 0. So 1, so 1, 0, 1, 1 would be the 2's complement of 5. So now to subtract it, you just have to add 0, 1, 1, 1, which is the binary value of 7 with the 2's complement of 5, which is 1, 0, 1, 1, which is 0, 0, 1, 0. And the most significant bit would be, or the sign bit would be 1, which basically denotes. So what does this denote? It basically is a negative number. So that's how you figure this out. Okay. It's pretty simple. As we've said, we will be ignoring the overflow bit 1 in this case. We take the rest of the bits 0, 0, 1, 0, whose decimal notation is 2, which is our answer. So 7 minus 5 would be 2. So in this case, we are ignoring because 7 is bigger than 5. So it won't, it can't be negative. So in this case, we can ignore the overflow bit. And when the overflow bit is ignored, the value of it is so that is the answer so now we have a code in order to exactly do this in c programming in c language so i'm just going to execute this code so that you will basically understand it's basically the same thing we are doing here but it's just converted into code let me just take you through the code once so this is just to uh, include the libraries and this is the main function so first we are creating two variables first number second number integer variables and one more uh, variable we are creating as sub for subtraction to store the subtracted value. So now uh, it's just print of scanup. We are getting the value of first number. We are getting the value of second number. And here we are calling a function called a bin sub, which is basically for binary subtraction, where the variables you are providing are first number and second number. Okay. And then once this function is called and once the it's executed, we get back the result and it's stored in the sub variable. And that particular uh, variable is basically printed out so that we can see the output okay so this is basically the main functions job so now what exactly goes on in this particular function let's look at over here so there is the int binary sub okay int a int b so in this particular function we have int carry so we have another variable to store the carry right we need to store the carry because sometimes there would be a carry in while we are doing binary subtraction so b is equal to bin add so to add, we are having another function, which is binary add. Okay. So negation B one. So these are the inputs we are providing. Okay. So while B is not equal to zero, carry is equal to A and B. That is the value of A and B, which would be the first and second number. So value of A and B should be, we have to shift the value by one, right? So that's what we are doing here. We are doing a left shift and then A is equal to A power B. And b is equal to carry so basically we are just doing what's provided over here we're just trying to do one's complement in order to make sure it's available okay so we're doing one's complement and then once this is taken right over here bin add int carry while y is not equal to zero so in this case x and y is taken so both the values are fed by this particular function in this case when y is not equal to zero we are doing the same operation we are left shifting it by one again and then it's taken back.
okay so now this is basically the same logic which is implemented over here it's just changed into code over here okay so now once it's basically done uh, so this is done it will give back the value over here okay so once the value is given to b uh, so then b will basically do this while loop and once the while loop is completed the value will be given back to sub so the value would be returned value of a would be returned to uh, the sub variable and the sub variable will be printed so that's exactly what's happening it's pretty simple okay so now let's execute this code so now i have the code copied in text file let's just execute it in a compiler so i have this online compiler open over here guys you can see this right online compiler i'm just going to paste the code over here and you can see the code right here okay so now let me just run this okay so i'm running the code I, I, i've already explained you the code i'm just running it so first of all let's enter the first number let's enter the same example which we've taken seven. Second number is five and the difference is two so we are not directly subtracting them you can see there is nowhere we are directly subtracting seven and five we are using the binary subtraction method in order to convert the input which is basically in regular number which is basically in regular it's converted and it's basically uh, put into functions which are basically using the uh, logic of binary subtraction to subtract them so this is basically it and i can if you want i can run it once again let's provide uh, 24 and 43 now you can see the number is minus 19 so this is how it basically works it's pretty simple i hope you guys understand the code if you want the code you can just uh, basically go to a scalar topics website which is available in our channel where you can just go to the description we would have provided you the link or you can just type in scalar.com slash topics or you can just go to uh, google and type scalar topics and the website would be there and you can just type binary subtraction scalar topics you would get the website and the code is right there you can use the code if you want to right from there and uh, yeah so that's basically it for this particular session i hope everything is clear so thank you meet you in another session